Four Corners is going to have this uh, very detailed program on tonight and to get uh, more on that uh, program we're joined by the reporter Marion Wilkinson and Marion of course Gina Reinhardt I guess has been the big force in WA for many many years. I, she's only on the national scene though really sort of started to make herself uh, felt and known in the last year or so. In terms of your work on this program paint a picture for us about who Gina Reinhardt is and what has been really motivating her and propelling her uh, forward in terms of her business success? Well, I think this is what the program tonight is trying to do, is look at who she really is, what shaped her, what shaped her character, and how she does business. And I, I think a lot of people will be very surprised to know that Gina Reinhardt, although she has this uh, now national profile as a mining magnate, uh, that she has never in her own right fully owned and operated a mine, a going concern. And uh, w one of the things that uh, I realised as we did this piece is that this is one of the things really driving her um, because her father was, her famous father was never able to achieve this and she is determined to achieve this. And, and someone who used to know her very well, Michael Yabsley, uh, in the program really uh, explains this, I, I, I think, quite well. And you'll, you'll hear him now, I, I think, uh, the way he puts it. She may become the richest person on, on earth, but I think that she would consider that she had failed and had failed on behalf of her father if she does not actually operate a mine herself. I think it is the Holy Grail. Fascinating insight into the, what is driving her so much. Uh, but Marion, so much of what we've seen and read about Gina has been uh, not necessarily a positive thing. We've seen that very public and uh, bitter dispute between herself and her family members, which many sort of uh, sort of picture her as this uh, very controlling person who really, uh, you know, is struggling with how she manages her wealth and how she brings her family into that as well. Yes, and I think you'll certainly see that tonight, uh, that dispute with her children and what it says about her. I think it is fair to say she is a very controlling personality. And uh, I think we found, as other people have found who've tried to uh, look at Gina Reinhardt and look at her in depth is that a lot of people we wanted to speak to would not speak to us, uh, certainly would not speak to us on camera. Uh, they felt that um, they risked uh, some sort of legal action from her, even if they weren't saying anything that was particularly negative. Uh, they just uh, know that she has this reputation as a fearsome litigant and were really, really reluctant to uh, put themselves up. And also there was a lot of people who had previously been involved with her who had signed confidentiality agreements for one reason or another and also uh, for legal reasons would not talk about her. So it was a very, very difficult program actually to do for television. And of course uh, she made it clear from the outset that she would not talk to us and our communications were electronic.